Hello everyone. Welcome back to another Tokyo Treat unboxing video. Got my crate the other day. Let's get to the book here. As you can see, it's called Summer Carnival June Edition. We have a little puzzle inside, a secret code thing going on. And here are the various items you can find in the box if you can make them out. <laughs> it's a little blurry. I'm sorry about that. Especially this side. It's hard to make. I think it's the color of the page, which is pink. So, got our popsicle do it yourself kit. Danko. Inkari Danko. Lucky Treat in Mini Contest. A lot of cat items in that Lucky Treat one this time around. Here's the Discover Japan. And here's some of the pictures people have sent in. And the last two pages. Great, a Pokemon Cafe. I'll be sure to go there. Not. <laughs> okay, let's start with the drink. It's just called J Cola. Or Japan Cola. <laughs> How ironic. It's backside. And as you can see, it's called Midnight. This cola soda was made to provide a deeper Pepsi taste fused with a refreshing cassius grape flavor. It is also designed to be enjoyed at night. Any drink can be drunk at night. Will you drink this on a nice summer day or a breezy summer night? Or any time, at any day, anywhere? <laughs> smells like Pepsi. I don't smell any. I mean, there's a slight hint of grape. Hmm. The grape, it's, it's basically Pepsi. But the grape is very low key in it. It's not overpowering as I would have expected it to have been. It's actually really good. I would have, I, I was really thinking it was going to be like a grape Pepsi, but it's not. It's Pepsi with a slight hint of grape. It doesn't overpower it. The Pepsi is mainly just the flavor. It's it, it, it's really good. I highly recommend that. Now I got my crate. It's a little thick this time because they added a lot of stuff to it. <laughs> I had to put some items in the fridge because it was hot yesterday, the other day when I got my box. So some of the chocolate items might be a little bit deformed, <laughs> like this one here. There are the Mejo. Takinoko Nasato, cookies and cream or honey butter. Carnivals often have fun ice creams and sweet snacks. Inspired by that, your box will contain either cookies and cream or honey butter flavored Meiji Takinoko Nasato cookie snack. I got the cookies and cream, clearly. Both flavors are limited edition. There's the back of it there. Anything on the sides? No, but it does have the little pull strap right here. And there's the interior. They have a similar packaging style, as you can see. Oh, there's something inside there. I guess that's the... No? Something you collect. Huh. See, there's those little circles. Wait, let me see your shot. Right there. See those little circles? Similar to those great cookie ones that we get. Oh, they're not melted. Yay! <laughs> well, there's two of them together. Little little cones. And they smell like cookies and cream. Very much so. Mm. Nice crunch to them because of the cookie layering. They're pretty good. Basically, your cookies and cream in a little cone form. Of course, I don't 
expect anything from Maisie to be bad. They're always excellent with with everything they do. Okay, now we'll go to the biggest bag in the in the box here. These guys sort of look like Twinkies in a way. They're the Happy Turn Soy Sauce Cheese flavor. This party snack this month is a savory one brought to you by the popular snack series Happy Turn. Happy Turn. <laughs> happy Turn. It's like Happy Trails. These rice crackers have a unique salty soy sauce and savory cheese flavor combo. Ooh. There's the back of it there. You can see it. They're just showing you what it's like. They put the cheese and they went into the cracker like that. I like how they, they say rip the bag like this instead of like that. <laughs> Yeah, I want to. I want to rip the bag down like that. No. <laughs> oh, okay. So that's what they look like. Layers. You can really smell it right off the bat. It's very strong in, in the the soy sauce smell. Noisy truck outside. Hmm. Airy. Very crunchy, as you see. It has a mid to mild salt flavoring to it. It's not overpowering. Very good. I don't taste the cheese that much, though. I thought the cheese would be a little stronger. It's quite mild. You taste the the rice and the soy sauce flavoring more than I guess the cheese that's on it so what's weird though is let me double check these here now that is them soy sauce cheese flavor you would think though the see it right there in the front it, it looks like uh, cheesecake in a way but that's not cheesecake <laughs> But they're good, though. They're very good. It's just the the cheese is not strong at all. In it. Now we have the... Where are they at? The Ankari Dango Kit Kat. Another unique Japanese Kit Kat flavor has found its way into your box this month. This time you get three pieces. Three! Of this interesting flavor. From Kum Kumamato. Japan. And Kari Dango was made to taste like mochi filled with sweet potato and azuki red bean. Okay. Now these, ooh. No. Okay, I thought it was melted already. I had to put these in the fridge yesterday because as soon as I touched them I knew right away. And this one is basically broken up. So, it's white chocolate. Hmm. I taste a red bean, which is interesting, because usually, excuse me, usually when you have white chocolate in a Kit Kat, it's more overpowered than most of the other flavors, but this one, the red bean takes precedence, it has a slight, a very mild tang to it, not overpowering. That's really good. I don't know if I'd eat them all the time, but that's that's quite tasty. Now we got a party pack. Very interesting looking. We got a little string of them here. Let me rip one off here. Show you the single one. I like they make it look like a fry bag, a little fry pack from you get from Burger King, McDonald's, whatever. These are the Salty Seaweed Stick Potato Snacks. Stick fries can often be found at festivities throughout Japan. This Salty Seaweed Stick Potato Share Pack Snack is supposed to remind you of fun rent memories spent at summer carnivals as you walk around munching on savory french fries. First part of that sentence, you try to say it three times fast, you'll get a tongue tied. <laughs> Let's see if I can do it. Salty Seaweed Stick... Salty Seaweed Stick Potato Share Pack Snack. 
<laughs> that's a that's a that's a mouthful. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, and they're tiny little things. As you can see. Smell like potatoes right off the bat. I don't I don't smell seaweed or anything like that. As you can see. Little tiny things. Basically your normal potato. I mean, they're basically potato chips in a stick form. That's all they are. Nothing special to them. We have them around here. We can get them in any, basically any store. Let's go for something sweet this time. So we'll go with a Doramon. We have the Doramon gummies, which is a first. I haven't seen these before. The enemy. Oh, wait. Before I get to that. Those fries do have a slight burn, a very mild spice to them. I can feel it back here in the back of my throat. So that's pretty cool. The anime snack in this month's box is a package of these fun, cute Doramon gummies. Doramon is a character loved throughout Japan that many people enjoyed watching as a child. These gummies are delicious, great flavor. So now you can eat Doramon. Clever way of doing it. See the different character design. Let's see if I can get it. There you go. Now I can see them. Huh. Pop one out. See what... I know they'll be good because I haven't had a bad gummy yet. There's one. He wiggles. <laughs> hmm. Very good. A little thin. And they melt away in your mouth almost instantly. All right. Oh, this thing shattered all all the heck. We have had, we've had these before. They're the cream rusk. They're like a little piece of bread. Rusk is a fan favorite when it comes to snacking in Japan. The various flavors are too many to count. This month, in your, Japan, your snack box, you'll find a smooth, crunchy, and satisfying cream rusk somebody put a comma before an and i hate that you don't do that the crunchy rusk toast synergies per synergizes perfectly with a sweet cream on top let's see if i can yeah it's slightly cracked all oh, the heck in here i'm trying not to flick it all over the place I can show you the big piece. See, it looks like a little piece of thick toast. Basically, a uh, um, sugar cookie in a toast type form. That's a nice sugary bite to it. Shortbread, shortbread, not sugar cookie. Uh, it's not, uh, it's very airy because it's like dehydrated, basically. <laughs> we got another one that is, I don't know if it's meant to be shattered. I'm getting a lot of broken things in this box, Tokyo Treat. I don't know what you guys are doing to these boxes. You with shipping shouldn't shatter them like that. It's almost like something went crunch and then threw it in the box. That's not good. You might want to do a quality check on your personnel, whoever's putting them in the boxes. Because... There's no way this thing would have been shattered this much in, in, in transit. Uh, this is a cheese snack. Let's see here. Cheese Zack. <laughs> cheese Zack. I see the cheese snack. This savory dangashi snack is a creamy cheese biscuit. The perfect size to take on a go or to satisfy your craving for a cheesy cracker. If you like broken ones. And this one is definitely broken up oh it's like a uh umabu stick it's basically all it is it's a, it's a small little umabu stick stuck in inside of a wrapper <laughs> sort of tastes like a flat dorito 
has a very hmm. The cheese itself is flat tasting in a way. It's not savory. Very um I hate to use the word cardboardish, <laughs> but it's not. It's not cardboard. I don't it's just the first word that came to my mind. Uh I'm trying to think of Oh, it's it does the the cheese is artificial, so it doesn't really taste really good. But it's I mean it's okay, but it's not amazingly great. It, oh, uh, Ritz crackers. It's a little like a Ritz crackers that's been out for a while. So yeah, there, Umabo stick. <laughs> and this one feels like it's a little bit crushed. Up. Yeah, it's been crushed up here and down here just a bit. Uh, this is the. Tonkatsu sauce. Tonkatsu sauce? Let's see. Tonkatsu is a famous pork cutlet dish that is often topped with a savory sauce. Okay. <clears throat> so, we'll give it a try. I'm not usually one to try the umabo sticks all the time because they're basically all the same, but well, this one's different in, in coloring. Ah! Throw it. Yeah, it's slightly broken. As you can see. The brownness. It's, very, it's got a slightly sour smell to it. Ooh, but good. A little high on the salt, but that's usually what they do anyway. A little bit um, sweet or sour. Probably sour, but not, not overpowering. That's, that's really good. It's better than your normal umabo stick. Hmm. Set that right there. Now we have some chocolate items. Very similar to what we've had before by Meiji, but these are in a bag. That actually has a slight burn, too, that umabo stick. A little, very mild. Yogurt flavored Ginza Rusk. The Kenozi snack this month is the sweet white chocolate yogurt flavored Ginza Rusk. The flavor was made to cool you down and is infused with a burst of lactic acid. Ooh, interesting. I always like rusks. Chocolate rusks, strawberry, uh, all the different flavors we've had throughout the years. <laughs> Ooh, it's got a good smell to it. it smells like cheesecake. Very that, bait that is that is cheesecake. <laughs> Put those cubes there. Mm -hmm. White chocolate, but smells like cheesecake. Tastes like white chocolate. <laughs> nice airy, melt in your mouth basically. Very good. The lactic acid, you don't taste it as much. I mean, there is a very, like, just a, a breath of tang. Just a mild tang to it, which I guess is the lactic acid. Now we have these guys here, which is interesting. They are the... Kakigori Ramun Candy. Kakigori, or shaved ice, is a summer treat that is often enjoyed throughout Japan and the world. Not just Japan. This snack comes with a mix of ramun and strawberry flavored candy and is designed to replicate the feeling of eating real kakigori by including a cooling sensation. Ooh. Do you like ramun or strawberry more? I like both. <laughs> Nice Ziploc bag as usual. Got a great sweet smell to it. And there's the Ramoon. Little blue pill. Hmm. I don't know about a cooling sensation. Try a strawberry. I like the Ramoon better. Strawberry's pretty flat. 
they have a very mild uh, sugary taste to them. It's not overpowering. No cooling sensation, though. They're still good, though. Very good. It's just not... The description doesn't fit it, though. And... There's our do-it-yourself kit for this month. Polar bears and penguins. The popsicle do-it-yourself. Uh, let's see. It's a staple summer snack. The popsicle. You can create your own with this candy that comes in both rum and strawberry flavor. Oh, another one, really. <laughs> just like, this kind of reminds me of the banana one we had last month. Where you can just, you don't have to make popsicles. If you don't want to, no, you don't have to, actually. <laughs> Here's, the, here's what the candies look like. A little slightly squishy. Very chewy. Hmm. That's quite good. Not, ooh. Got a little bit of sour, sour to it. it. Has It feels like granules in it. It's like taffy. Hmm. Very good. It takes a while to chew down, though. <laughs> now we have a corn snack. Corn on the cob in a bag. <laughs> this is a Koikia scone rich corn flavor. Experience a bit of corn from Hokkaido with this rich Koikia scone rich corn flavored corn snack. Well, corn twice in one sentence. Three times, actually. A bit of corn, rich corn, and corn snack. A little over redundant there. This snack utilizes, oh, wait, another one. Corn powder <laughs> made from Hokkaido sweet corn. God dang, how many times did you say corn in one sentence? One paragraph, I'll say one, two, three, four, five times. <laughs> A little crazy there. Corn, you just just go corn, 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 corn. Mm. Wow. It's definitely it's like white corn. Sweet white corn. You can see in there. They're definitely what does that look like? Cheetos. <laughs> Ooh. That's tasty. I love nice sweet corn. I'm not a big fan of corn on the cob because kind of, it's always getting in your teeth. But sweet corn, you can pour in your plate or in a bowl or whatever. It's really good. And that's what this tastes like. Mm. That's, that is really good. I'm not usually a, a big corn fan most of the time just overpowering a lot and there's so many things that are made of corn but I'm, I'm not against it it's just I don't, I don't need it all the time and lastly yep no 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 dakashis got this big bag I thought that was I thought the other one the uh, rice crackers are the last big bag but I didn't even see this this is the melon cream soda Ooh, melon chips Melon cream soda chips. <laughs> That's right. This carnival is all about joy. And this month, you get to experience a crazy, fun flavor, unique chip to Japan. These chips combine the best of savory chips and sweet, refreshing melon cream soda to create a burst of flavor that you aren't so soon going to forget. There's nothing really on the back, as you can see there. Cream soda flavored. I never thought I would a day I would come and go. You know, I want to try some cream soda flavored potato chips. <laughs> a little warm in here. Ooh, you can really smell it too. That, that, that melon. Hmm. I mean, they look like your normal potato chip, as you can see. Oop, there's two of them there. A little piece fell out of my belt. Wow, that's different. The potato flavoring is completely gone. I mean, it is there in the background, but instead you have this tang, slight tangy melon 
flavor to it. It's not overpowering. It's like just like a like a breath of it on it, but it overpowers the potato chip itself. I've never thought I would have seen something like that. That's strange. How it, you don't even taste the potato on it. I mean, you do, but it, it's so mild in the background. You taste the melon more than the potato. And the salt. There is some salt in there, too. Of course, you got to have that with potato chips. Wow. That is... That's cool. That is really cool. I, I really like these. They're extremely unique in, in how they were able to make something like this. Hmm. Wow. Okay. <laughs> well, that's all for that. And that's all for the box this month. I hope you enjoyed. And there's my Aliens t-shirt, as you can see. I've showed, worn it before. And like all my videos, if you like a shirt I'm wearing, I always put down at the bottom of the descriptions where you can go get it out. Uh, and this is one of my all-time sci-fi favorite action films. So, all right. I will see you in the next unboxing video. Hope you enjoyed. Take care.